strong. Right, hi there again YouTube. Thank you very much for joining me. Right, now, with Kali Linux, a lot of people have been asking me, specifically via email, about suggested Wi-Fi adapters that they can use. And I found one that is particularly good. It's this guy, it's a TP-Link, and it's the TL-WN725N, and it's the Nano variety. There are several types of these, I do believe, but the Nano one supports packet injection and it's also of a good form factor as well, which makes it ideal for running um, your pen tests and specifically more so for things like war driving. But what we'll do is we'll unbox this guy, we'll get it over on the workbench and we'll take a look. Okay. Right, so we're on the workbench and we have our TP-Link, our TLWN725N. Now, in this video, it's just the unboxing that we're going to, to do. We'll take a look at the packaging and in a follow-up video, we'll actually test the adapter and see if it's any good. So, first of all, let's take a look at the box and... It was purchased, as I said, this thing for £5.09 pence from Amazon. And this is the Wireless N Nano USB adapter. Now, it does have support for Windows, Mac and Linux. And it says there's a three-year warranty with that. And it boasts to be the smallest 150 megabits per second Wi-Fi adapter. And it works with USB 2. So this is just the package contents there. So we should have our wireless USB nano adapter, a quick installation guide and a resource CD. Now because I run Kali Linux I don't actually need the CD so that would make a rather interesting tea coaster or coffee coaster or beer coaster, whichever. There's our specifications. So uh, IEEE 802.11bg and n, and obviously it's uh, interface USB 2, LED status lamp on it, and the security protocols it works with is WAP, which nobody should really be using these days, WPA and WPA2, WPA PSK and WPA2 PSK, which are much more secure, as we said, than WAP and WPA. And then, of course, it's just the simple dimensions there, which if we move that here, you can see 18.6 by uh, sort of times 15 times 7.1 millimeters and just there on the back it shows you the topologies of how it sort of works and pretty much there's a size comparison there and then obviously you have various languages in German, Turkish, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, Polish, French, I'm not sure what that is and by the looks of that Russian and then there's just the small print there now interestingly enough we have our system compatibility if this camera will focus and there are the Linux kernels as well and the various versions of Windows that this thing will work with and of course Mac as well now I run Kali Linux and I know for a fact that this actually does work on Kali Linux anyway, on the latest version. So if you're looking for a wireless network adapter um, that you can use for packet injection, this guy will do that. But anyway, let's open the packaging again. 
So normally you would have a seal here, which I've already opened this. And then of course you have this plastic insert tray here. And then here you would have sort of various kind of things on that. So let's just a quick look at that. Nothing spectacular, just some small print, which would usually be its sort of certificate of conformity and obviously the various contact details there. Should you wish to read that, you're welcome. Then, of course, next out we have, well, just an empty box. We don't really need that. Then in here is just our quick setup guide, which you're more than welcome to read at your leisure. If you wish, so it tells you how to install it for Windows. There you are. And, of course, for Mac OS X. Interestingly, no installation instructions for Linux. And then next up we just have our resource uh, disk. Now um, I, as previously stated in other videos, I don't tend to really need that anyway. So there really is only one use for this for me and that pretty much well, goes without saying, it's really just a drinks coaster. In this case, for a bottle of water. But I'll substitute that for any drink of your choice. However, it might well be needed this if you want to run Windows 7 or some other variation of Windows that needs the installation disk. So it's probably a good idea to keep hold of that. Lastly, is just the adapter itself and that's it as you see so pretty much just take it out of its packaging like so this is something very tiny and small there that can be lost and for a size comparison here's a zippo lighter and we have a selection of coins just to show you how small this thing is. So there's a 50 pence, a sort of 20 and a 10p. And that's the form factor of it. Now that is one of the main reasons why I actually purchased the device in the first place was because of its small form factor. It's easy to carry. It can be plugged into a variety of devices that run Kali Linux and NetHunter. And of course, if we just move over to our laptop, I will show you this running in another video, but I can just essentially plug this thing in. And as you see, there's our flashing lamp. And here's our Kali Linux. Uh, it would help to put the correct password in. And as you can see, there is an icon up in the top right hand side. You can click that and it's working. And obviously if we remove it, which I'm going to do, no available networks at all. So straight out of the box, we haven't done anything really with that. You don't need to with Linux. The drivers are already there. If they're not, then you would just simply type apt-get update and then apt-get upgrade. And that would simply um, install the drivers there for you anyway. You may have to do that manually, but... That's pretty easy and um, well if you don't know how to do it then you really shouldn't be running things like Kali Linux. So there we are, um, we'll just now proceed to closing out.
Right, so there we are. That was the TP-Link WN725N and uh, the unboxing of that. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, just to uh, reiterate, this thing does work with packet injection. I know because I've already done it. And I will show you that one in an up and coming video at some stage. So do stick around for that. And I can show you the basics of some Wi-Fi hacking in action. So again, dear lovely viewer, thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you so much for viewing, your liking, your comments and your subscriptions. Please do continue to hit the thumbs up and the bell icon if you haven't already done so, because it helps the algorithms put out my video to more people. So I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And for now, I wish you all the very best. So take care. Thanks.